YouTube, what the crap's going on? Welcome back to Total War Rome 2. Last week, uh, we did a live stream, and uh, I did another one today. Um, and I wanted you all to be able to see the battle, because I... My computer crashed at the end of it, because I'm the heir of rage quitting. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And, uh, yeah, I wanted you all to see what happened at the end of the battle. And a couple of the folks that I played with were nice enough to send me the replay. You can see I have them here. I don't know that any either one is really any different than the other. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and load one up. I'm on this team here. So I'm Rome, Macedon, Roxolani, Carthage. The opposing team was Carthage, Parthia, Rome, and Rome. And the premise behind this battle, in case you didn't watch the live stream, was that it's going to be like Total War Arena style in some sense. Meaning that uh, it was a four versus four. And one player on each team was responsible for a certain unit type. I did the infantry, Macedon was our skirmishers, the Roxolani was our cavalry, and Carthage was our artillery. And same for the other team, they split it up. Each player was responsible for playing a role as a team. So I thought this would be a fun way to do this. Let's watch the replay. This is going to be from my team's perspective, I believe. Well, unless it came from this Carthaginian player, which is possible. But I think it's going to be from my team's perspective, from the, the perspective of my artillery teammate. Yes. Good. So you actually get to see it from my perspective, which will be a little easier to uh, show. The other one that was sent to me was from a, an enemy perspective, which is fine. Um, glad that you sent it. Thank you. Uh, I just used this one because it'll be easier to identify my team with the blue banner. So anything with a blue outline on the banner is on my team. And anything with a red outline on the banner is on the enemy team. But as you can kind of see the overall, uh, again, I control the infantry and it's Roman. And basically I've just brought up a line of veteran legionaries with Hestati. Our Macedonian skirmisher uh, teammate has brought three Cretan archers with a lot of upgrades. Uh, some mercenary Thracian peltist. Uh, maybe one upgrade each. I'm almost thinking he should have just brought more units rather than upgrading. But hey, whatever. It's his role. We have three step noble lancers for the Roxolani. Some Sarmatian horsemen on either flank. Uh, some mercenary Amazonian riders. And I think there may be his general... Let's see, there's my general's Legatus. And there's a noble horse archer general for the uh, Roxolani. The Carthaginian player has brought a Carthaginian heavy onager, two of them. And then a Carthaginian onager. And then, of course, he has... Everybody has to have a general's unit. So that's the one exception to the rule, which means that there is... You can actually see artillery fire starting. Um, uh, so I figured this would be a fun way to do things. Yeah, anyway, so both teams are in artillery range. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, enemy troops here. Uh, I wish there was a way for me to leave that on there, but um, there we go. So let's see, it looks like Carthage is their skirmisher, so three mercenary Balearic slingers, and it looks like some Libyan javelin men and Cretan archers behind them, quite nice. And the Carthaginian general is actually a war elephant that is currently right here. Well, no, that's a royal cataphract. Right here is the African war elephant. The Roman player, one of the Roman players is the infantry, and he's actually gone Primarian, which is kind of cool, and it's going to allow him to bring more numbers because there was a very limited amount of denarii. So he's got four Hestati, three Principe, and two Triarii. Uh, the Romans have brought the artillery as well, so we've got a Roman heavy onager here. And it was limited to three artillery because otherwise they could have brought a ton of artillery with the funds, and that may not have been so fun. Roma Ballista and a Roman Scorpion. And then it looks like Parthia makes up their cavalry. I want to say there's a couple of Eastern Cataphracts, a Noble Blood Cav, Median Cav, Royal Cataphracts. So some very tough Cav from Parthia. And that is the enemy army makeup. So again, you can see that we're all different factions. You can use the same faction on each team, but again, so my focus will be the infantry. And of course, I want to play in such a way that it helps my teammates support me. So, you know, I've brought what I felt like would be the best infantry. We decided to do a night battle, too, uh, just for fun. So you can see my uh, legionaries here. The guy in the center carrying a torch is pretty fun. But we're also getting lit up by enemy artillery fire. And there are some mean enemy skirmishers awaiting us, too. And even though my Romans are fairly strong against skirmish fire, uh, it's still going to be a lot of it. So I'm, I'm making sure that the Macedonian is keeping his Cretan archers up front. And then I'm using a Hastati meat shield here as well. Um, and, uh, yeah, you can just see that the Roxolani player has his cab on the flanks. Roxolani was a great choice, I thought, for a cavalry, and I think Parthi is a great choice for cavalry as well. Um, Rome is one of the obvious choices for infantry. You could also pick Boii, Tylus, Arverni. I mean, any of those factions would do pretty well in the infantry role. Here, yeah, the Carthaginian player, smart move, bringing the elephants, because I didn't make any any rules around such, so picking Carthage for the artillery is pretty smart because you, you then get to bring an elephant general. Ooh, 
nasty hit there into the Thracian Peltist. So, yeah, basically, I didn't really know how to take this. I figured, hey, we're Romans, we'll just take this thing head on. And so I basically do that. You can see that the uh, the enemy has some Cretan archers and uh, Balearic slingers moving up for skirmishing, and there's, they're trading fire with the Cretan archers on uh, the side of my team. So you can see the, the skirmishing battle going on now, and behind which my Roman infantry continues to move up, and the artillery continues to fire on both sides. So uh, during the battle, we were trying to target the Carthaginian war elephants, um, and then also right there we got a nice hit, though, on the enemy... Uh, artillery, but yeah, we tried targeting the Roman elephants, who, or the uh, Carthaginian elephants, which ran away, and also the royal cataphracts, which stayed out of our range. So, definitely trying to use that to our advantage. And I will go back where you can see the flags here in a minute, but just thought you might like some of this. I am getting a lot of fire on my veteran legionaries, and they are taking some damage. And waiting behind are also Libyan Peltist, and these guys can cause some nice damage as well. So skirmishers are a lot more deadly in this particular game mode that I've created because there's a lot more of them. <laughs> um, and there's a lot less infantry in comparison to what people normally bring. So things are much more well balanced in this type of scenario. I say that. They may not be depending on how people choose. But in this one they are just by the way that people have chosen. So here you can see we're firing on the uh, royal cataphracts unfortunately missing. Um, and so yeah, the skirmishing is going to play a huge role. You can see my veteran legionary is getting ripped up by uh, mercenary Balearic Slingers at point-blank range and Libyans. So taking some massive losses here, unfortunately. And then the Roman infantry player being very smart here and just falling back while the skirmishers do some work. So some great teamwork going on here between Carthage and Rome, of all factions, um, at picking away at my very superior infantry force and forcing me to just charge forward into an otherwise unpleasant scenario. These Hastati getting javelins and then retreating. Libyan Pelt is throwing javelins into my unshielded flank. Again, great work here going on by the enemy team. But I really want to get this infantry engagement underway. The uh, Royal Cataphracts are out here as well. They've performed a charge on one of my veteran legionaries, and it was pretty successful. You can see that they got 18 kills there. Uh, the skirmishing uh, is going in favor of our opponents, and so far the infantry fights in favor of our opponents because they've done a nice job of kiting back and using their cataphracts to obstruct my infantry charges. However, once my veteran legionaries do get into combat, they will do fairly well, but again, the numerical superiority in the region uh, here, I'm going to bring my own veteran legionaries in right here, I believe, but uh, right now I'm being outflanked by Hestati, uh, though my veteran legionaries will get a number of kills here. And I actually get intercepted here, so never mind. I get intercepted here, um, so right now the infantry fight definitely going in favor. And look at this, intercepting with the Triari, on my veteran legionaries. So, uh, but right here, uh, the the noble horse archers have clutched out by running the African elephants amok along with the mercenary Amazonian riders, and the African elephants are going to be running all over friendly units here, and it's keeping them from affecting the infantry fight. Fortunately for us, artillery continues to fall. Uh, to fall, the royal peltist are back here hurling javelins. Um, at the uh, cataphracts. Looks like they've avoided being charged so far. And the cav fight right now is going pretty well for the Parthian over here. We got steppe nobles uh, engaged with eastern cataphracts. Uh, the Sarmatian horsemen had dropped Draco earlier and helped her out some noble blood cav. And then my Legatus is going to come in here and smash into uh, a lot of enemy skirmishers. Just doing my part. Uh, and then the uh, royal Peltis general is coming in here pushing back as well. And uh, you've just got horse archers in the background. Again, the elephants continue to run amok to flaming fire. It's too bad the Roxolani uh, haven't switched over to standard shot to just finish these elephants off. I think flaming shot was probably not necessary here. You could have just used other, but I mean, it's still... Don't mean that as a bashing. Doing a great job at keeping the elephants contained. A very nice job. So the infantry fight is very desperate for me right now. Uh, my guys in the center are being overwhelmed. Uh, one of them's doing okay, the other's not doing so well, but their morale is starting to falter just because they're surrounded. Although they have killed quite a few Hastati, and here they're easily tanking it out against Hastati as well. Um, I'm trying to get my general free. Right now I'm engaged with some Libyan Peltis. Fortunately, the Carthaginian bodyguard chases off this Legatus, an enemy Legatus. And uh, my own is going to move towards the center. I have the loyalty of the 10th, and I'm going to use it on this veteran legionary to hold them in the fight until it wears off. So this was a pretty clutch play right here by me. I messed up the infantry fight earlier, but now this veteran legionary is unbreakable, <laughs> and it is going to be tanking out a considerable number of kills uh, with their high attack, even though it's surrounded. So it's going to do very well now. Uh, the elephant's still being kited away by the, uh, the noble horse archer, so uh, great job. Elephants haven't played an impact yet. Fight's far from over, though. 
Eastern Cataphracts trying to get rid of some uh, artillery. And then there's some Roman Principe out here that a little ways away from the fight. Infantry-wise, it looks like we're outnumbered at this point. But um, from a cavalry standpoint, we've started to, to take some control. We have some Step Noble Lancers left here. These uh, Sarmatian horsemen got involved with some Triari, and that's not going to end well. Got some Mercenary Thracian Peltist. Even if these guys are out of ammo, they could be helpful. And it does look like they're out of ammo, but into the back of an enemy unit, they could be very helpful. Look at these veteran legionaries here, tanked it out. Fought their way out of an encirclement because of the loyalty of the 10th, which has now worn off. Um, and it's going to be dangerous. I've got this veteran legionary taking on Principe, or Principes, but the uh, Carthaginian war er, the African war elephant is way, way too far away from the fight. My own Legatus has killed a large number of skirmishers and fortunately kept them from uh, destroying what little infantry we have left. This Royal Peltist is going to be a key unit. Um, and it ought to do very well in this fight. Uh, it's already got 98 kills. It's got use the whip and shield wall going on, so it'll be a tough target for these Romans to finish off. Uh, the Triarii, though, will keep them bound up for a long time. Uh, my veteran legionaries are actually winning this fight now, over 200 kills. And then over here, they're winning this fight against the Principe as well. So the veteran legionaries uh, got off to a bad start initially, but are now doing good. But at this point, the Carthaginian war elephants have uh, come back under control of the Carthaginian player. And this is why um, using Flaming Shot earlier may have been good. And I think you all can probably hear a little air in the background, but I think he's getting ready for bed. Uh, in any case, yeah, the, the African Elephants uh, coming back, and at this point I see them and I just start fleeing, and the Macedonian Skirmishers, unfortunately, these Mercenary Thracian Peltists would be a bad loss. We really need them right now, actually, because there's a lot of enemy infantry left. Um, but we still have uh, a lot of Sarmatian Horsemen, and then we've got the... Uh, Let's see, the African War Elephants just rampaging through here. Oh, they're going to get into the Royal Peltist General. This is very bad for my team. I had dropped by this point, so I don't really know what happens after this. The African War Elephants are dropping, though. And number? Yeah, I hear a little air back there doing a whole bunch of chatting. That's pretty funny. Um, let's see what happens, though, with what's left. Oh, the African Elephants are dropping now. They're down to eight. And they're going to be under fire, potentially, from... Horse archers. Uh, those guys may still have ammo. Uh, let's see. So from an infantry standpoint, uh, our enemies are still very much alive. But there's a lot of Sarmatian horsemen headed in. Oof. These guys got into square, which is going to help them. But it got a lot of charges incoming. That's going to hurt the morale. Draco pop, so it's going to hurt the Triarii's ability to fight here. And the Carthaginian elephants also got hit by Draco. So, if they had a bonus versus large, they don't anymore. The Principes are hurting badly, and this Triarii is actually wavering. So, yep, the Sarmatian here looks like they're going to clutch this out. My guys are just sitting here, because I've dropped out of the game, unfortunately. I don't know what happened to my Legatus unit either. I must have gotten it killed. Carthaginian Elephant's still alive, and used Battle Rhythm at this point. They still have Draco active, and for whatever reason, they are not attacking the Sarmatian horsemen. They're going to go after the maybe the bodyguard here? Anyway, the Romans being cycle charged and it's effective. <laughs> they're losing a lot of men. The Triarii are not in square and they're going to lose now. So the Sarmatian player uh, is uh, clutching it out for our team at the moment. Very fun battle. Um, it was fun to watch the teamwork going on. Each player knowing the role that they need to play. Um, and each player trying to uh, impact the battle. Looks like the Sarmatian's now going to be able to charge the Carthaginian elephants and potentially route them off the field. I see incoming skirmish fire on the elephants. Looks like my, the AI is bringing my Roman infantry in. So it looks like we'll probably surround them by numbers at this point. <laughs> There's artillery fire coming in as well. Be pretty cool if it actually hit one of the elephants. So it looks like, uh, looks like my team's going to clutch it out in the end. It was a very close battle, and it was a fun battle. We'll have to do this again sometime. Here's the kills. Um, so it looks like I got 757 kills. Great number of kills from the Roxolani player here. Fantastic. Uh, whoa, that's a lot of kills on that Step Noble Lancer. That was a good job. On the enemy team, Lumberjack racking up a ton of kills with his infantry here. So Lumberjack doing a great job as the infantry commander. So I was the infantry commander and Lumberjack was as well. So he was more efficient as an infantry commander. Uh, from a kill, st or no, no, never mind. I was looking at the number deployed, so I did a little better. Fewer men deployed, more kills. 
Uh, Reina Emperor getting a nice number of kills here, 204 with the elephants, but also his elephants did kill some of the enemy players, but did a great job from a skirmishing standpoint. Definitely won the skirmish fight and then killed a number of my infantry with these peltis, so again, kudos to him. Let's look at each player. The, the Macedonia player here getting a lot of kills with those mercenary Thracian peltist and decent job with the royal peltist. Uh, yeah, like I said, the Roxolanian did a great job for our team, and Gorilla, I mean, he, he has artillery, there's only so much he can do with it, but a great job nonetheless. He was uh, being a great team player and trying to target the key enemy units uh, that we asked him to, so let's see, Nigel Pancakes is the uh, Parthian here, getting some nice kills on those Eastern Cataphracts, but um, getting overwhelmed by Roxolanians it looks like, uh, but you know, again, well played, uh, I think a good choice going for Parthia there. Uh, and then Chairman Nigel was their artillery. Uh, not a lot of kills here on these artillery pieces, but again, artillery is interesting. Not a lot of us use it. I'm not sure that I would have done any different or any better with the artillery. But uh, great game to everybody who participated. Thank you, and hopefully we'll have some more fun like this in continuing live streams. Air of Carthage, signing out for now.